What's up everyone? Today we're going to go over leak code 720, longest word in dictionary. Now when I first solved this problem, I solved it using sets, but I want to learn how to be better at using tries. So I'm going to present the leak code solution where it's using a, a try and a DFS. So the input is going to be a list of strings and the output is going to be the longest word we can make with those strings which is lexicographically the smallest. So we can make apple and apply by doing like A, A, P, A, P, P, A, P, P, L, and then we can either choose apply or apple, but apple comes before apply, so that's why we're gonna do this. Now, there's many ways to implement tries, and this particular solution that we could present might not be the best way to implement try, but it's good to know and uh, learn so we have more exposure. Now, a node class is going to look like this. There's going to be a character C, and it's going to have a hash map of um, key being characters and the value being corresponding nodes. And one more, we're going to have an int uh, end to signify whether <coughs> that node is the end of a word or not. So let's get into it. I'm going to present it first by writing out the class for node and then try and then the different methods in that and then I'll use the try to write the solution for the longest word. So node class is going to look like this. Character C int end node we're just going to pass in a character C and this is going to be um, this dot C is C and we're also going to have a, a map of character and um, this is going to have a value of node we're going to call it children and we can <coughs> have a new hash map so this is the class for the node itself. Now let's write the try. Class try. The first thing is going to have a dummy node called a root. Node root is new node that the try is going to hold an array of words. It'll be, I'll add it later when I'm doing this method then we're going to have um, insert. So public void insert a string, let's say s, and the index, uh, which this method will be called in this method, the, the original method. So this is going to be a node cur, which is like a temporary pointer. It's going to be starting with the root always. And then we're going to go through for character C through S dot to char array. Um, we are going to put root or cur rather cur dot children dot put if absent. We're going to put the children. So it's pretty much going to first uh, put, 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 put this guy, put if absent, and it's going to be a new node C. So when we first start putting apple, right, the root is going to have like a, uh, now I'll erase this, now I can erase this. <laughs> Say we're putting apple. The root is initially going to have a, a, a dummy like this, and and it's going to have a map which is going to be made like this a and its value is going to be another node put if absent and then we're going to set current is equal to um, cur dot get oh cur dot children dot get C 
And once this for loop is done, we're going to set um, index or cur dot end is going to be set to index. So index is going to be one. I'll tell you why when I'm writing this one. But for the first time, when we put a in there, um, a is going to be the key in the map. And it's going to have a value of a node. The value, the node itself is going to have this A in it, and it's going to end with a 1. So that's how we insert. Let's just double check. cur.children, put if absent, C, and a new node in there. And then cur is reassigned cur.children.getc. So now current would not be node, but it would be this guy. We're done because Apple does, A doesn't have anything else. So we just put 1 as the ending index. Now, now I'm going to write the DFS, which is the meat of it. It's going to return a string. So let's initialize an answer. We want the longest one. So we're going to, we're going to keep replacing it. Now, <clears throat> we're going to have do DFS, but we're going to do a stack implementation SDK is new stack and we're gonna push the root on it and while stack is not empty well the stack isn't empty what we're gonna do is push it out no T for temp dot pop if T is if T's dot index and end end is greater than zero or if T is equal to root since we're starting out in the beginning T the root doesn't have an end it's just a dummy so if it's that if root if T is not null then we're gonna check for uh, different things one second um, if T is not equal to null what we're gonna do is get string s and um, words words is the array that's inside the try um, is going to be <coughs> t dot end minus one if s dot length is greater than uh, answer now what this means is that when we encounter a end which is greater than zero what that means is that that's a complete word from our words dictionary if so we can consider a viable candidate to see if it's the longest version if it's that one or if the length of this is equal to our current length and it's lexicographically smaller s dot compared to answer is less than zero then we can update this as a viable candidate. Answer is going to be set to S. And we can close that inner if loop, the inner if statement. Then we can close this if t is not equal to root. I should say root over here. Then what we need to do at this point is if we are not a root, if we're not a root, we have to take all the neighbors and push it onto the stack. Oh, 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 no, if, if we're not at the end. So this is the inner if, that's the outer if. So now we're, if it's not this guy, this guy. The first if is um, for node and EI for neighbor through t.children.values. We push that stack that push t. So this is going to populate our, uh, this is going to go through our try and get us the longest one. <clears throat> I know this is a little, uh, there's a lot into it, so just look at the code in the description below. Once we have, now that we wrote everything in our try that we need, what we can do is first say int 
index is 0. Um, and then initialize a new try. Try is going to be new try. And for string word through words, we're going to do um, try dot insert word comma plus plus index. Now this is a um, increment, so this is actually going to be a it's a pre increment. So one and then two and then three and then four five six. So this is actually going to have an end index of one two three four five six seven, not zero indexed. Now that's going to go into the insert. Now try dot words is going to be set to this words. We're pretty much giving our try a copy of this words array. And then all we have to do is say return dot try dot DFS. OK, so that's pretty much how you solve leak code 720. Um, if you like this video, please subscribe and like it and share it. I am trying to practice try questions myself. So uh, this is kind of like an advanced topic. So just read through the description. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.